You look like shit. We're almost there. I'll fill you in when you get into position. The Perfect Sniper starts off with a pretty good premise. As a shooting game with a story, I couldn't wait to not only be the Perfect Sniper, but also get engrossed in the story and learn about my character, my motivation, and who the bad guys were. But the single note narrative never delivered on any of that, which was a real shame because as I got driven around this bustling city, I could only imagine all the untold stories happening around me at any given moment. Sightseeing. A majority of the perfect sniper plays out on rooftops, where you'll peer down at the city looking through crowds for your target, like a Where's Waldo book, assassination edition. Aiding you in this task via radio is your spotter Jazz, instructing you who to kill, but often his descriptions are so vague, like, I don't know which car he's in, or completely useless, like, he'll probably be very angry which, come on, is absolutely ridiculous, making Jazz the worst spotter ever and turning each mission into a boring game of trial and error. Making matters worse are the low resolution, often washed out graphics, not only ruining the immersion factor, but also making targets a blurry mess. Despite my obstacles, my first run through clocked in at just under an hour, and once I knew who all my targets were, I blasted through the campaign a second time in about half that. The better parts of the perfect sniper are when you're shooting at cars from the back of a moving vehicle. The bad guys always drive black cars so your targets never need descriptions. And even though your driver never really guns the accelerator, these scenes were still my favorite. More variety like this would have been appreciated, and as a random aside, there's a specific scene shown twice in the trailer, where you're shooting from inside a helicopter flying over the city, that obviously didn't make it into the final game. And that's really disappointing, because a few extra missions could have really gone a long way here. It's worth noting that the aim controller performs admirably, making targets a breeze to take down, until drift kicks in and ruins the entire experience. The dual moves fare better in that department, but don't feel nearly as natural. I wanted to like this game, but as a story-driven game, it's missing a compelling story. And as a game about being a sniper, the shooting mechanics could certainly use some work. And although I ultimately enjoyed my second and third playthroughs, that's like saying I enjoyed a puzzle game once I knew all the puzzle solutions. For me to recommend The Perfect Sniper, it needs a few additions to justify its $15 price tag. Mainly, about twice as many levels, improved voiceovers, including better descriptions of your targets, a huge bump in resolution, a patch to fix aim drift, and even with all of that, this would still feel overpriced. The Perfect Sniper is an interesting concept, but the execution here, unfortunately, was far from perfect.